So here's my automatic tool changing spindle off a Chinese CNC router. Um, what happened was the wrong buttons got pushed and we dropped a tool while it was spinning at 24 grand. Now the spindle seized, I can't find anything online about how to resolve this so the only really way to find out is to get into it and find out how it works. I took the back off before, there's a piston in here which pushes a push rod through to the pull stud clamp which is in the end here but um, without taking the front off I wasn't able to get right into it and see why this shaft is really seized. Um, I had to make some custom tools here to, to be able to undo this. This is done up with uh, some kind of Loctite which uh, gets softer with heat so I used a heat gun. I machined down a sacrificial tool holder to stop the shaft spinning while I was undoing that. <clears throat> this is what a normal one would look like. I had to take that off so I could um, so it wouldn't interfere with my tool and these pieces. Um, yep, so now hopefully I'll be able to get right into it and uh, figure it out. Hopefully it's not fucked. By the way, there is a port. You can just put compressed air straight into that to operate the tool change while it's on the workbench. The other two don't do that. Just this one. Yep. Right, so here's a better breakdown of how it all works. So here's your pull stud clamp. This is your uh, push rod. These are your push rod spring washers. So this whole assembly here spins in the spindle. And while it's spinning, none of this contacts any of these pistons these pneumatic pistons. Um, these spring washers are pulling the push rod up which is keeping the clamp in a tighter tube and holding on to the pull stud on your tool holder. And only when the spindle is stopped will this back piston push forwards and it pushes into the back of this piston which then pushes against these springs and and uh, and that boss pushes against this with this little boss going into into the ring on the end of that one. Now that's where we got the spin weld because it was spinning really fast. Um, so this piston here, this second piston, this pushes back that way. Now that must be to ensure disengagement of the tool um, unclamping mechanism. So um, so that's got yeah extra spring loading and a piston pushing the other way to make sure that that gets disengaged from the push rod before the spindle starts spinning again. If you push the wrong button and manually make it happen while it's spinning you will fuck your spindle. Um, yeah, that's, that's what happened. And uh, you got a few proximity sensors in here too communicate the position of the pistons to the CNC computer. Um, now there is a, a hole that's meant to deliver air from here through here through the push rod and uh, out to clear the chips when 
tool changing. So uh, while it's spinning, it's all disengaged and it's relying on the spring washers on the push rod to keep the push rod up and keep that held onto your tool. In my opinion there should be a some kind of a flat bearing here so if it does engage while it's spinning it won't weld. But but there's not. Well I hope that helps anyone who encounters the same issue I had and I couldn't find any information on the internet really about this spindle. I was just hypothesizing against all the other schematics on more popular spindles and trying to figure out where the issue could be on mine and how to get to it and how to find the spare part um, and I think I'm going to have to yeah, get a whole new releasing piston assembly and push rod end now this end actually unscrews from the push rod it's a separate piece there's an o-ring here and that guides it through some grease in the, in the end of the spindle here yeah